Starfield library or the Coex library, Starfield Coex library slash mall and just check it out and walk around. I had a late start today, but it's okay. We still got time to do some things, but yeah. We're just gonna walk around, see what's up there, probably grab a bite to eat. I'm a little hungry, even though I just had a tuna roll. Um, but yeah, happy Sunday, everyone. Nothing really caught my eye, but I'm so hungry. I went to their food court area, which is pretty cool. They have a lot of places you could eat at. But I got a bowl of jajangmyeon. This is um, black bean Korean noodles. I've had it before back in the States. Shout out to Brie who took me to get my first bowl of jajangmyeon not too long ago. But I'm very excited. I love black bean noodles. It's a lot too. I don't think I'm gonna finish this, but look. How good that looks. Very excited. So let's try to mix it all first. Oh my god, wait, there's no scissors. Usually I eat this with scissors. Okay, here we go. First bite. Mm. I think I need more sauce. It's pretty good. I really like the noodles. The consistency or the texture of the noodles is really good. It's very chewy. The sauce is a little bland though. Or it could just be me. As long as I get a big bite of the sauce, then it's fine. But if I don't, then it tastes a little bit bland. But it's still good because I was like starving before this. So honestly, it's fine. I'm gonna keep eating it. But it's not bad. It's good. Then let's try the radish they give us. This is very traditional to eat with jajang milk. Mm. The radish is good. The ones I eat in the state has like a floral metallic taste to it or a soapy, I don't know, it has a weird taste to it. So this one's really good. I'm gonna keep eating this jajang milk. I would say it's a seven out of 10. Pink drink on crack. This is so good. 
home now. I could explore more of Gangnam, but I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna head home and just start editing my birthday vlog. I'm looking at the McDonald's right in front of me, and that sounds good for a light dinner, so I will consider it. But I will drink this first. my laptop charger but I didn't bring the plug adapter <laughs> so I couldn't charge it and it's literally gonna die so that's all I had to edit I think I only edited for like an hour so I didn't get too far but I think I'm gonna stay in the area just because I want to explore it looks very hip and cool over here and I found out that there is a line friend store so to make myself feel better I'm just gonna go spend my money at line friends probably but look at this street it's just full of a lot of cute cafes oh here is a photo studio should I take more photos no I'll save it for a better hair day so oh here's another one actually let's check it out since I took my birthday off. I had a three day weekend and I'm back to working at 2 a.m. tomorrow. Definitely not excited for that. I just came from CU, one of the convenience store chains over here and I stocked up on some coffee that I'm going to drink tomorrow when I'm probably tired as, just tired. Um, but I also got my dinner. I wanted to get McDonald's because they have mozzarella sticks but I didn't want to walk minutes so got ramen instead but I had a good weekend today was a cool day despite the whole charger incident oh I also got an egg their soft boiled eggs are so good here I have a pack of three so I'll eat one tomorrow for breakfast I think with last week's chaos especially with the dynamic of working in the mornings it was just so hard to adjust but this three-day weekend of not working I think was really good for me and I finally feel comfortable getting around and my itineraries and stuff so 
hopefully this next work week will be a lot better because last week was just so rough okay oh i am wearing white i'm going to change okay i am back sorry i cannot risk that shirt getting red i would be so mad at myself but I've been doing also a good job at filming content, not just for YouTube, but also for TikTok and Reels. And I'm a little tired, but I'm trying to grow those other platforms. So if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, you should consider it. Only if you want to though. But let's try this ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. This one's good. It's pretty spicy. I would say if I compare it to Shin Ramen, it's around that type of spicy, but I really like it. It has um, like a tangy kick to it, so it's different. I'll probably get this another time. Mmm, mm -hmm. I'm eating my hair. Okay, so I finished at the market. I'm about to take the train back home, but I just wanted to share a very nice story. So I was a little sad because the Netflix noodles were closed, but I went to another stall that had um, fish cake. I don't know what it's called in Korean, but they had like the fish cake with the soup in a cup that you can try. So I was like, okay, I'll just eat there. And it was very, very delicious. But while I was eating, because it's so cold like this is the coldest day i've experienced in korea so far i think it's like 20 degrees fahrenheit i think regardless it is so cold and i was freezing my ass off and i think the lady who owned the stall could tell so then after i finished eating she motioned for me to come and then she gave me this little scarf and i told her I was telling her it's okay and she said no please take it and I just wanted to cry because even though there was a language barrier she still took care of me so 
Shout out to you, ma'am. You made my day. Like, I was sad because of the noodles and that it was so cold, but she definitely made my day. Like, I'm gonna go home and cry now because of how nice she was. And it's really pretty. I might give it back to her though. If I ever end up going back, I'll probably return it. Still crying about this. Still crying.